Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use guided access to keep the iPhone in a single app on the iPhone 15 series. First, let's go back to the home screen by swapping up at the bottom of the screen. Now, before you can use guided access, you need to go into settings and switch it on. So on the home screen, tap on settings. And from the settings screen, we scroll down and tap on accessibility. Next, go down in the general section, tap on guided access. At the top here, tap on the guided access toggle button to switch it on. And it said here, Get Access keeps the iPhone in a single app and allows you to control which features are available. To start Get Access, triple click the side button in the app you want to use. The next option is the passcode settings. So here you can tap on set Get Access passcode. And then from this screen, you can put in a custom passcode. Next, we enter the passcode. On the next option is the Face ID. So when you turn this on, you can use double click on the side button here to end get access with Face ID. If you don't like to use this feature, you can turn it off. All right, now tap on the back key and we go to the next option is the time limits. In here, you can choose to raise the alert uh, sound when the time limits has been which or nearly which. So here by default, it is set to none. None is the default settings. So in here you can choose an alert sound. And you can also choose whether to speak out loud of the time before it, the time ends. So here play sound and have the remaining guided access time spoken before time ends. Now if you go back in here, you can also turn on accessibility shortcut or switch it off. When you turn this on, you will be able to access the accessibility shortcuts during a guide access session. The last option in here is the display auto lock. In here, you can set a time so that your screen will automatically lock when it's idle for a certain amount of time. So here you can choose 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, all the way down to 50 minutes, or never, or the default settings. When you choose the default settings, it will use the, the settings from your auto lock in display and brightness settings. And so in here, select a time period and then tap on the back key to go back to your gutted access. After that, you can swipe up to go back to the home screen. Okay, so we have now configured the settings for Get Access. When you want to use it, you can open up an app. So let's say I want to lock the YouTube app to the screen. I will open up YouTube and then triple click on the side button here. Next, tap on Get Access from the menu. Then in here, before we start, tap on Options. And in Options, you can choose to show or hide the side button over here. So you can choose to enable or disable it. If you turn it off, then this button is disabled. And during the guard access session, uh, this button will not work. The same for volume buttons. You can choose to activate it or deactivate it. When you turn on, the user will be able to use the volume up and volume down key by turning by turning this feature off, the volume uh, buttons will be disabled. Next is motion. You can choose to use motion or not during get access. So tap on the toggle button and choose this feature. Next is the software keyboard. You can choose to hide or show the keyboards during the session. And lastly, you can choose to lock the entire screen or you can turn it on. If you lock the entire screen, once you start get access, then uh, the, the screen is uh, disabled. And when you touch it, nothing will happen. This is typically useful. For example, if you want to start a next Flix video and then you hand the phone to another person and they can watch the video, but they will not be able to, uh, will not be able to do anything else. 
You can also set a time limit. So here, turning on the toggle button, we turn on time limit. And from here, you can set a time. So you can set it for two hours. After two hours, which the phone will end, uh, will end the app. And that means they will not be able to do anything else. So here we can set two hours limit and then tap on done. Then tap on the start button to start the session. And here you can see I can access the screen. I can swipe up and swipe down. I can go into home screen or library. Now I cannot go back to my home screen because it is locked. The app is pinned. You can triple click on it to go back into your accessibility shortcuts. And from here, you can tap on get access. On this screen, you can enter the passcode. Then tap on options will allow you to make any changes to the options for get access. So here I can turn off time limits and I can disable the screen, then tap on done, then tap on resume. And you can see this time when the screen is disabled, if I touch on it, nothing will happen. So here I can go back in here and turn uh, the, the touch screen back on. I can also enable or disable uh, keyboards during my guard access session and then tap on resume. To end uh, guard access, you can use double click on the sub button here with face ID and that will allow you to quickly end your guard access session. So let's uh, say I want to lock my app store uh, app right here. I can turn on guard access, then tap on guard access here and it has started with a time limit of one minute. If I want to change that, I triple click on the sub button, go into get access, then put in your passcode and then tap on options. In here, I'll change that to zero. I'll turn off time limit and then tap on done, then tap on resume. Another way to end your session is triple click one, two, three on the side button. So I didn't click fast enough, so let's do it again. One, two, three. Then tap on get access. Then put in the passcode. And finally, tap on the end button at the top here to end the session. And that's it. So that is uh, everything that you need to know about get access. Uh, it will allow you to lock a particular app on the screen and you can control which parts of the hardware to enable or disable such as the side button the volume keys or uh, you can lock the entire touch screen thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos